instead of our usual, each week we choose a theme, bring you three or four stories, blah, 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 public radio, very reflective. What kinds of stories would we end up with if we did 30 in one hour? Or even 20? What would it sound like? We honestly had no idea. And so, that's what we're going to do today. Today we're going to find out. And I have to say, time is wasting if we're going to fit everything in. How many will it be? How many will we squeeze in? There's but one way to find out. And that is to stick around. And let's begin with this one. Act one. Don't I know you? Throughout this hour, we're going to be bringing you two-minute documentaries, fantastically short works of fiction, and all kinds of little stories that we ordinarily can't use on the radio show because they are just too short, even though they're really fun stories to listen to and perfect stories for the radio. Our first story is one like that. It's one of those stories, you know, how people you know have their greatest hits stories of things that happened to them. We went on a massive search for stories like that from all over the country, and this is one of the stories like that that we found. It happened to this actor named Tate Donovan. He told it to our producer, Starley Kine. He was out one night going to a Broadway play with a friend, being treated in this way he never gets treated. We're sitting around waiting for, the, for, for it to start, mm-hmm. and... I, you know, I'm not a, a, a very, uh, I'm not a sort of recognizable actor. I'm an actor who works, but I never get recognized. So all of a sudden, like, you know, the 10 minutes we're sitting there for it to start, I, you know, three or four people come up to me and, and recognize me. I mean, they know exactly who I am, and, and they, uh, they are quoting lines from a television show I was on, and like, hey, you were Joshua on, on Friends, and... I've always admired stars who are really gracious, you know. Right. So you always think, you think, you know, that's what I want to be. I want to be really friendly when I'm famous. <laughs> so I wanted to be friendly and sweet and, and, and go out to the people. They don't have to come to me all the time. So for like a little window of time, though, you were exactly the kind of celebrity that you wanted to always be. You were gracious and reserved. Yeah, and, and warm, you know what yeah. I mean? I wasn't like one of these distant <laughs> celebrities. You know, I was like, hey, I was genuine. Like, they all left thinking, that guy's a really great guy, you know? He's like so sweet, I, you know? I was, ex- I, was, I was exactly how I wanted to be. I was doing it. I was doing great. And then the kid with the camera came along. <laughs> This nervous kid, I don't know, he must have been 16 years old. He's in a rented tuxedo, unbelievably, like, shy and awkward, and he's got, like, acne, and he's got a camera in his hand. And underneath the marquee is his date, who is literally like a a prom dress, and she's got a corsage, and she's really, you know, nervous and sort of clutching her hands. And he sort of comes up to me, and he sort of mumbles, you know, something like, you know, something about a picture. And I'm like, oh, I just feel for him. So I'm like, oh, absolutely. My gosh, sure. I have no problem. My God, you poor thing. And and I go up to his to his girlfriend. I wrap my arms around her. And I'm like, hey, where are you from? Fantastic guy. Going to see the play. That's great. And the guy is sort of not taking the photograph very quickly. He's just sort of staring at me. And he's got his camera in his hands. And it's down by his, like, chin, you know. And, and uh, she's very stiff and awkward and... I, you know, I don't know what to do, so I just lean across, and I, I kiss her on the cheek. And I'm like, all right, come on, take the picture, hurry up. And and finally, he sort of, like, snaps it. And uh, I'm like, okay, it was really wonderful to meet you. And he just, like, st- stammered over to me and was like, um, c- could you take a picture of us? And the whole time, he just wanted me to take a picture of him and his girlfriend underneath the awning of the play. He didn't want a picture of me. He had no idea who I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They were in shock. I don't think they'd ever come across a human being <laughs> acting this way, you know? I mean, could you imagine if you ask someone to take a picture and you just get in it yourself and kiss them? And, hey. <laughs> Tate Donovan with Sterling Kine. You can see Tate these days on the TV show Damages. <laughs> 